Okay, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> On to question three, and this is a dye filtration time problem. Um, and most of what you did, I did with you around um, dye filtration times, um, had to do with the fact that there's an optimum concentration of the protein at which you should do your dye filtration if you want to op minimize the time when you're doing both an ultrafiltration and a dye filtration together. Um, in terms of this question, all oh, that's just a red herring. What we have here is we've simply got a 100 litre solution of a certain protein solution that wants, that's going to go and undergo um, dye filtration. And within the tank, we have an impurity whose, con whose rejection coefficient is zero. And we want to reduce that concentration by a factor of 20. So we're still dealing with this 100 litre solution. And all we're asking is how long would it um, take to dye a filter that 100 litre solution of protein so that you reduce the, the concentration of impurity by a factor of 20. So the first thing to do, and I'll just go into paint here, and, <coughs> and I suppose the best thing to do is I suppose, lay out what the actual equation is that you'd use to calculate the time. And remember, if we're doing a constant volume dye infiltration um, on anything, the, the key thing to remember is that the flux during that process is constant because the flux is determined by the concentration of the protein, not by the, the thing you're trying to flush out of the system, at least as to a good approximation. So the time required for your dye filtration, I'll just call it CVD, is the volume of water that you use require um, divided by the flux during the dye filtration times the area of the membrane. And the key thing here is that that flux here is constant. And it's equal to K log C lim over, and I'm going to call it C0, which means your original concentration um, of your protein in the solution in, in the tank, where C0 in this case we were told is five grams per liter. And because the protein we're assuming has a rejection coefficient of one, so none of it's actually leaking through the membrane, then we know that C0 is just the concentration of the solution that I gave you, which was five grams per liter. I gave you K and I gave you C lim, so we can calculate J. The second thing we want to know is what's the water concentration? Well, we know that we want to reduce the concentration of the impurity by a factor of 20. 20. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, 20. And it has a rejection coefficient of zero. That's the impurity we're talking about. And we know from ultrafiltration theory that that's equal to V0 log of 20 or V0 is actually 100 litres, all over K times K times log C lim over C0. Um, and I think I gave you K in litres per metre squared per hour, so that's going to work out to be in hours. Okay, so this is in litres, this is in litres, Per meter squared, so the meter squared is going to calculate with the or cancel the area, and the hours is below the line here, so it's going to move up. So the units of this, given the data I gave you, are going to be um, uh, liters per meter squared. Are going to be this is going to be in hours, okay? So our final answer is going to be the TCVD equals a hundred log of twenty over, uh, I think that was 0 0.7 into K, which was 60. 
pi log and c lim was 300 over 5, which is the concentration. Okay, so this is a much simpler question than, than it might look at the start um, because the way I taught, I suppose CVD was in the context of a process that involved both ultrafiltration and constant volume diafiltration. So, you know, it, it would be quite unsurprised if people diverted into C lim over E kind of stuff. But it's not, we're told that we just have a fixed volume and we're just diafiltering that. So um, this is actually quite an easy question, but you do have to understand quite a bit about constant volume diafiltration. In other words, that the flux is given by the concentration of the protein at the start because it doesn't change. So it's K log C lim over C zero. And that's because the rejection coefficient of the protein is one. And because the rejection coefficient of the um, impurity is zero, then the amount of water you need is just uh, V zero log 20. That comes from the, the equation C0 equals E to the minus 1 minus sigma VW over V0. Sorry, that's terrible writing. Um, but if sigma is equal to 0, then that's just 1. And then if you take logs, then and because of the minus, this gets turned upside down. So the volume of water is the volume you're actually working with, which doesn't change, which is your initial volume. <coughs> times log of 20, okay? So that's that's a lot easier than it, it possibly looked. I, you know, I presume you can work that out yourselves. I, uh, I'll leave it there, okay? So, so that's question three.